Our trip around the Big 8 Conference will begin in Manhattan, Kansas. Coming up, we'll take a look at the Kansas State Wildcats. After two years of floundering at the bottom of the Big 8, the Kansas State Wildcats approached the 1988 season with a less talk, more work attitude. Now with 130 players in camp for the first time, head coach Dan Parrish really feels he can get down to business this year. No doubt it's an uphill climb for the Wildcats after last season's 0-10-1 finish. This year Parrish has a lot of young talent and he plans to use it wisely. You either accept that challenge and, and you, you tough it out and you move forward and, and talk about winning, get your kids ready to win, or, or you crawl in the hole, you know. And uh, we, we weathered it, and I think it made us a, a stronger group. I think we had our best spring. I think our kids are more combative. I think they've got their jaw set to show everybody that we can be a team. We're going to be an underdog every game. So, uh, you know, I feel good about that. Some of that young talent includes sophomore tailback Antoine Doolin, who sat out last season due to Proposition 48. Doolin at 6'1", 180 pounds, hails from Topeka's Washburn Rural, where he helped lead his team to two 5A state titles in 1985 and 86. Maybe the pressure's on you a little bit coming in this season? Yeah, the pressure's really on, but, you know, you always just got to go in and do your own thing. You know, if you worry about what everyone else is going to say or think of, you know, you might not do so well. You know, last year I was so used to just watching everything, watching what's going on. Now I'm going to be getting into it, you know, so you know, it's going to be kind of, you know, awkward for a while. Doolin will be counting on the heavies up front to help him out this season. Anchoring the front line is senior offensive tackle Russ Stang out of Cypress, California. The 6'7", 260-pounder didn't allow a quarterback sack last season. You know, we got a lot of decent linemen coming in, got some skilled players who can probably come in and contribute right away. And from, you know, most of us, the linemen are coming back from last year. You know, all the heavies are here, and we stayed all summer, worked out together. What's the biggest hurdle you think this team has to get over for this season? We got to get that first win, get it under our belts, you know, get a little confidence, and then we'll start rolling as a group. You know, we can't, we really can't just say, you know, we can't really get stuck on anything. It's like once we get that first thing, get a little confidence, things will start rolling for us, things will start happening for the Wildcats. Meanwhile, there'll be a quarterback battle brewing this season in the Wildcat camp. Gary Swim from Vernal, Utah, returns as the only upperclassman. This year, he finds himself in a three-way race with redshirt freshman Paul Watson from Kansas City and sophomore Carl Straw from Fairlaw, New Jersey. But Swim, who started most of last season, says the battle isn't over yet. I'm just ready to, you know, put my time in. I've worked hard this summer. I put on some weight. Uh, I'm ready to come out battling this year. Is it going to be a, a battle for the starting quarterback yeah, job, do you think? It's definitely going to be a battle. Everybody worked hard. Uh, Paul Watson, uh, Carl Straw, you know. There's three other quarterbacks who worked hard. Uh, hey, the better the quarterbacks, the better the team's going to be. On the defensive side, the Wildcats will be relying on eight veterans, including 6'2", 210-pound junior defensive end Eric Harper. Last season, the Denison, Texas native came up with 39 solo tackles. We've changed a lot of things around, and uh, we got a lot of people that want to win now. And like I said, we've changed, you know, just almost a complete team around. And we move people around to different positions where, you know, coach feels that we'll help the team. So I think this is a rebuilding year, but uh, it will be good, I believe. The Wildcats start out the 1988 campaign with four tough non-conference games before they get into the Big 8 schedule. Parrish and his team are expecting to have their hands full all the way. I think there's five for sure bowl teams, three of us that are struggling. Uh, our job is to try to get on the top of those three first and then go from there. But the Big 8's going to be dynamite. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we have five in the top 20. You know, I believe that uh, Oklahoma and Nebraska and Oklahoma State will be you know, three of the dominant teams in the league. But uh, I believe the, the lower half of the, of the league will be coming up this year because everybody's, you know, we've had a lot of changes on you know, all the lower teams. So this year, I believe, you know, with the changes that each team have made, you know, this should be a stronger conference throughout. I hope we can be more competitive. Uh, I'm uh, I really focused so much on practice in the first game that I, I probably haven't given as much thought as I have in the past. Uh, I don't even know what day we play Kansas this year. Uh, the 1988 season holds some opportunity for Kansas State, particularly for some of the younger players looking to make their mark. They'll get the opportunity to play against some of the nation's best college players. In Manhattan, this is Phil Surratt reporting.